Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Are you using ePlan Pro Panel to build your cabinet design in 3D? And have you wondered how to exchange your regular door with a glazed door? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that in less than a minute by the usage of high quality data. Alright, how to place glazed door instead of regular doors in ePlan Pro Panel? The first and most important thing is that we have high quality data for our enclosures and accessories available. The best source for the data is the ePlan data portal. So I'll pull up the data portal here and search for the component which I would like to place. In this case, it's Rital's 888-6000 enclosure. If we click on this component here, in the detailed view, you can see um, the characteristics of the component, the data types available, the amount of downloads, and the list of accessories. That means somebody already created for us uh, the enclosure and all available accessories free to download. So here we could go to the arrow and import and download this enclosure with all accessories from the data portal to our local parts database. I already did this and now the enclosure is available in my insert center. So I'm going to delete this enclosure. And instead of this, I'm placing a new 888-6000 enclosure. As you see, by default, the enclosure comes with a regular door. I would like to now place a glazed door instead. All what I need to do for that is first to delete the regular door. By holding the shift button, I can select the door and pressing delete. So now we want to place the glazed door as an accessory. So for this, we need to select the enclosure, go to insert, and the second button here is accessories. In this accessory selection, we see now all the possible accessories by accessory lists and single components for us free to select and to place. And if we scroll down here, you will see a component which has an accessory placement place door. So this is the place door we can place. So as you see, I didn't need a book or I didn't need to go to the retail homepage to find the component. In the data portal, all of the components were already available. So I can select this component. You see there are even two installation variants at the front and in the back. Uh, in our example, I would like to use the front one. So now you can either select the component by double clicking it or selecting it and pressing the arrow down to select the accessory. You see the accessory is selected by pressing OK. The selection will be confirmed and the glaze door is selected. As you see, key for the placement of glazed door is, is high quality data and the accessory placement method. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. Have you ever used accessory placement in ePlan Pro Panel? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and share it in your community. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.